So here we're going to examine some methods of taking resources, uh, like the one here, to to make a texture that can be useful for um, applying to head models and um, obviously characters that you make. Now, uh, what we want to do, I'm going to actually use the, I'm going to open up an example, or not an example, open up the, the guy head model uh, from the last tutorial. And there we go. Let's get rid of this dude. And the reason why I'm gonna why I'm gonna open this is I I find that this is a great way um, you know, because 3D.SK they they do a pretty good job of uh, creating these head references um, and these you know ready to go uh, head textures. So why not piggyback off uh, of what they are doing? Now the benefit of this is you know if if you have a character, for example, like the uh, the guy here. We already know his eyes are lined up, his mouth, the ears, and everything like that. So if we were to, um, you know, hit the same landmarks that we have on this one texture here um, with the new information, then, you know, we won't have to do any changes to the model. We can just make the texture. Everything's going to line up, and you know, theoretically, boom we can just apply the new texture and now this becomes a woman. Um, too bad it doesn't always work out that way but it's at least a good um, a good thing to kind of keep in mind and it's a good goal to have. So with that being said what I'm going to do is is take from here and create a new, new texture here. Now uh, this is a this is a very simple Google search uh, comes up with this image and this is pretty high resolution so uh, make sure that you're not getting some low low resolution images so with her what I'm gonna be looking for here is as much of this front shot as we can get so I'm just gonna hold V which is the move tool and just drag this over to this texture drop it into place now this first placement tells me the resolution difference between these two files we see this one's um, clearly a lot more uh, higher res but it's still it's not terrible so I'm going to just scale her face up a little bit not going to be too concerned with getting the sizes you know exactly on the money but having them translucent like this will at least help me get close um, I think that's actually pretty good now going to drag out a ruler here and if you don't have your rulers visible you can just go view um, turn on your rulers what I'm tr what I want to make sure is that I'm seeing some symmetry like the mouth here is okay symmetry of the eyes is probably more here the mouth's off a little bit but let's see what we can do so actually she's pretty good and just play around with this a little bit that's actually really good um, so what I'm going to do now is use my eraser tool hit E and let me make a soft brush and about like that and I'm just going to erase little bit of this white 
8. Now, we're not going to need pretty much any of this. I'm going to leave that little bit of our neck because we can use that. This hair clearly needs to go. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my eyedropper and I'm just going to grab this tone, this flesh tone. And I'm going to quickly use my paintbrush and let's just go with a big old big old paintbrush here. And I'm just going to, oops, let's make sure we do this on a new level, new layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in this good base color. Everywhere to essentially cover up this guy. And let's just go ahead and do all that just for now. Um, if you know, if you want to, you can fill the whole entire thing up. Um, it's not a it's not a terrible idea. Um, matter of fact, I think it's a pretty good idea. Then you won't have to worry with fixing that black parts. Um, but I'm going to get rid of some of this detail here. And let's, I'm going to hide that with hitting control semicolon. Alright, this particular image uh, I don't think is going to be really too useful. If I go over to hit M to go to my marquee tool, I can actually drag this selection over here. Now, <coughs> what we're going to be looking for, since we have her eyes already here, we don't need any eye information on the side. And we can actually start from like right here. So this is going to give us a pretty good uh, snapshot of what we need. So hit V again, and we can just drag this right into this one. And we need to scale her up again. So I'm going to put this part right where her eye is as a reference point. And what I can do is actually drag the anchor point here. So when I scale, that's so weird why is that anchor point not doing anything. Alright, anyway, let me scale this up. And that's actually pretty good. The only thing I'm not sure about is where that ear placement is. So it looks like I'm actually right in the ballpark. So I'm going to leave leave that there. Use the eraser and let's really lightly erase out a little bit. Now we're going to have a little bit of a discrepancy here but we can fix that up later. So let's get rid of the white. The skin tone we've, we've got going on is actually pretty good uh, and matches pretty well with her. Uh, a couple of things that I see that I would like to do, I'm not really incredibly excited about how um, the hair is working right now. So I think what I actually might attempt is, let me use a race on here, is to try to get this hair flowing a little more seamlessly. And actually, don't mind that. Right there. It's got a nice flow. Um, 
right down our face and moving that over really kind of fixed a lot of the issues we were having there so let's hold alt and drag over layer 3 and control T and let's flip this guy on the Y so we'll just put a negative here in front of the hundred click OK and you want to hold control and select these two layers and let's come up here and make sure that they are aligned horizontal so that they're at the same height um, let me see okay so that it looks like that ear placements right about where the other guy is uh, the other ear is so we're pretty close there which is good um, we do have a little bit of a of an issue uh, with the hair on this side and you can see we've got some hair that we can play with I think maybe even clone stamping some of this hair right up into there um, I think that actually might be that might sell sell it okay works for right for me for right now okay so actually I'm actually okay with this I can tell there's a little bit of a dark spot here from the shadow from the lighting um, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and take all four of these layers and right click merge layers merge layers into one now I'm gonna use the healing brush or hit J and make this a little bit bigger hold alt and let's say I'll pick here on her cheek and I'm just gonna paint right through where these seams are this line on her chin I'm gonna come back over here and just paint right across that line on her chin I don't want those hard lines um, so the same thing I can do here say I pick part of her cheek and come up here and just let that smoothly oops don't want that so let's get that smooth transition there and the hair will be covered on that side let's see if we can oops too far again That's a pretty smooth transition. It's not terrible. Same thing. Let's just come down here. We can come this way. Try to get some of that skin texture. Go on this side. You don't want to just you want it when you do this. You want to kind of let it go quickly. Don't just keep holding it down and painting, 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 because um, it's you're just gonna be making it do a lot of work. So you know, it's good to just paint quickly, get a little bit of an adjustment going on, and then let it do its magic. Um, let's see, probably, probably could maybe smooth out a little bit of what's going on here on our cheek and whatnot, um, but, you know, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I, I personally like taking the ears, and another reason, um, why I like taking the ears off is I like having, um, and really what I do uh, what I've what I've done at work several times is to take uh, one particular ear and let me hit 
So I select it with my lasso tool. I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V to paste that onto a new layer. So now I can move that ear, get that out of the way someplace that I know I can use it later. Um, maybe even flatten it out like that. But what I like to do with ears, um, because they can, they can be so hard to measure and um, you spend so much time on them, is I'll do actually one ear. I've got one ear that I have at work that I've actually unwrapped and uh, painted and you know gotten rid of a lot of this this detail on here. Kind of like I was saying before, if I use the healing brush, you know, let's say we come in here, you know, I don't want this this crazy detail because the mesh that I have is going to be generating this detail so you know I don't need to worry with it all I really kind of want is a uniform tone uniform you know skin tone it's not a terrible idea to have some some color changes um, you know, this is a little darker. I think that works. Let's cover up that part there. Um, you know, so I mean, with this healing brush, we've quickly now, and this is a, you know, it's not, it's not great, but compared to this ear, if this were to be applied to the, the ear model, um, from the last model compared to this one this one's gonna look a lot better right out the gate but you know personal preference um, but again for me I like to have these areas clean you know obviously we don't have we don't want to have an you know ear that has an earring in it sitting there uh, on our you know skin so you know for obvious reasons getting rid of that is a good idea at least that part I like to keep this part um, you know clearly the same skin tones as we're using because you know the way that I see it what's going on back here underneath behind the ear you know we we want that to be you know looking looking good it's you know everything that's on the ear and outwards you know this is that's what we need where we need to focus on with the details but this just I find it to make make my life a lot easier when it comes to texturing by you know just having simple um, colors simple skin tones here to play with I'm going to use my healing brush again and make this a little bigger. Just clean that up. Alright, so we have the the issue with the hair and um, you know we could, I could take her and I could scale her up a lot more but you know the problem with that is is now you know we're going to be off of this this part here and you know like I say you don't you're not going to sit here and try to kill yourself and get everything lined up you could you know clearly her ears are going to be a little different here um, her eyes are a little different um, her hairline everything it's a little different because everybody's face is different so I mean I wouldn't kill yourself to try to keep make sure that everything is dead on the money you're gonna have to tweak every person's face a little bit but this um, is gonna make things you know just I'm not gonna have to tweak as much but what we don't have is the rest of her hair um, and what I did was I actually you know just searched real quickly and found some blonde hair um, we can use other um, other pieces of hair for example uh, let me let's actually bring over here and let's just you know blonde hair blonde hair what are we doing I 
we need is something, something back there. So I, I, I got this one earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and, while my internet is loading up, go ahead and drag this in. And it's not perfectly on the money, but it's, it's something. And I think we might be able to use that. I'm going to rasterize this layer. Sorry if that was out of the out of the zone there. Just go quickly erase this. Make my brush a little bigger and get a little bit softer of a fade out. Actually that looks that works pretty good. Okay, we've got some over here on this side. So maybe like that, somewhere around there. Erase a little bit of that. Um, let's see. Blonde hair. All right. So see if we can get. And sometimes you can um, put in like you know blonde hair from behind or something and 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 get a, a good shot of so let's do that let's just put back and then see how long this takes alright so something like this this is great um, let's go ahead and just grab this wow that's downloading I am uploading huge amounts of video right now so um, so what we're going to be doing with this with this layer and what we're what we want to go for is we want to go for that seamless um, so that you know the same way this guy's hair uh, looks great going right around the back because it's a seamless texture um, you know we want to have that same kind of thing happening with uh, this texture that we make see if this thing's alright so I'm going to just grab this real quick and just drop this here into the scene so we can consider this to be uh, actually pretty good useful image I'll rasterize this again and just erase out some of the stuff that I know we're never going to need Okay, so we got rid of that. Uh, just make that soft up there. And let's just make this soft down here. Alright. So, with that said, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy this over, transform it again, negative, flip it, get this in place. I'm going to move this move this to the bottom layer there and we can see how I can just move that right over and really kind of quickly create some some you know some I don't want to say fake hair but fake hair I mean it's, it's really kind of what we're doing um, I can play around with this. Flip this again. You know, we got we got something happening. Um, so what I'm gonna do is with this, I'm going to. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to hold down ALT and I'm going to come right here to this little tab and uh, you can't see it on screen but I'm going to choose um, while I'm holding ALT, it's important that you hold ALT choose Merge Visible and because you're holding ALT it's going to take that blank layer that you made and it's going to merge all this into a copy right here now if I go control T 
you see that it's grabbed you know this this whole thing this whole texture and if I go filter other offset see I can actually offset her face and I can start playing around with uh, making this thing tileable now if I didn't do that and let's say I just took all these layers and merge visible whoops clearly it's gonna set me down into um, one layer which is not gonna not gonna help me out because um, you, you know the fact is uh, there's still some still some things that I want to tweak um, for example I can come over here now and you know grab some of these other hair pieces and I can do some tweaking <coughs> long story short it's just it's good to to make a copy like this now what I'm gonna do is go image size the width is 3072 um, 3072 divided by 2 so um, when I go to filter on this merge layer here, filter other offset, 1536, hit OK. We'll put this right smack in the middle, um, which is where we want it. And now I can like come down here and grab one of these guys. And let's, I don't need this or this. Drag this to the top. And let's actually put that like right there. We can use our eraser tool and get rid of some things. But the beauty of what what we what we're doing here is, you know, this is, might not be perfect, you know, and of course if you were making your own you would you know of course get the you know the back of her head you know get that picture but you know I think that this will actually suffice for right now so we're going to take this take these two now merge these and if you wanted to do the alt you could um, or make a new one but I, I am going to actually do alt and merge so that it just does those two still keeps all these because I like to have these for backup so now these guys are merged and if I go back to filter other offset it's gonna put it right back where it was because it repeats it and because I, would, I did perfectly um, half of what it was it puts her face right back um, right back to where she started which is what we want and we know that this head offset is going to wrap around her perfectly so um, that's a pretty I would say like to say it was quick half hours not incredibly quick but you know we're not again just like with head modeling there's no one quick button to make things uh, happen um, if if I were to to probably do or tweak anything um, maybe grabbing some of this detail here might not be a terrible idea just to have a little bit more something to kind of play around with um, you can always use maybe some of the hair from this ponytail and interweave that just to give a little bit more detail um, but hopefully you know this this helps it gives you uh, an example and a good idea of how to make your own um, if it's just you know scouring the internet to to grab something or you know or something else um, and of course you know maybe we want to tweak yeah you know, let's say her her eyes I'm gonna put a hue and saturation on her and with black I'm gonna hit alt backspace and then with the mask selected, let's switch this color 
and come down here and just paint in just her eye you know so you can play around and you get these different variations um, that you can do with these textures wow that's really pretty um, so the only other thing like I said for me personally I like to have um, use the, the healing brush and just remove these these details any of these hard lines so I get rid of those um, and same thing here for the mouth Let's take this down Getting rid of that that area of the lips is gonna help so much. Now, of course, there I'm actually I'm getting rid of some of that lip detail, and that might be something that you want. Um, but this is I have found this to be infinitely helpful when it comes to quickly texturing uh, these heads. So. You know, go ahead and save this out and apply, and um, you know, hopefully, found this useful. Uh, this is a technique that I've been using for a long time to to quickly generate heads um, and the and the textures. So, um, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.